Hello, it's Miles 4248 here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you a um, preview of the first developer release of um, Mac OS X Lion. Now, a lot is going to be um, changed in Lion uh, in the final, final release, um, and this is a bit like an alpha of Lion, so of course, it's going to be quite buggy. There aren't actually too many bugs even in alpha, so it's probably, um, probably going to be quite good in the final release, or at least in the GM. So as you can see, um, Finder has been changed a bit. Um, one of the main new features is that um, you can make things full screen. So um, uh, in Terminal also, um, now you can blur the backgrounds. Um, if it's a new window, and I think it's Silver, Aerogel, or Homebrew. Um, if you uh, make the opacity a bit less, and it's easy to see. Uh, it's also a new um, tool desktop. Um, picture. Also, when the uh, terminal isn't active, it um, isn't, doesn't blur anymore. So, um, it's a new desktop picture, uh, which is um, default now. And we can find it. Uh, I'm not sure where it is anymore. It should be in nature. Anyway, it's a picture I think of a mountain. Um, can't find it anymore. Anyway, you can switch back to the old one when you um, get it. Okay, here it is at Fuji. So that's default background. You just switch back to Aurora. And the UI has been changed a lot now. This is a bit like um, well, this is um, Mac OS X Line. It's like iOS quite a lot now. Because in iOS you get similar things like, for example, if you turn Wi-Fi on or off, for example. So, um, I think the screen savers haven't been changed. Uh, by default, um, you don't see these um, icons here. The uh, silver thing. I'm not sure we can even zoom in. Uh, looks like I might be in trouble zooming in. Um, but anyway, um, there is um, something called Mission Control now, so you can s it's a bit like Expose and Spaces put together. So you can s switch to different spaces here, um, and also you can just swipe with four fingers or press Control and left. Um, so this is new Safari Five also now. So um, just show a new feature of this. Um, go to my website. Then you can zoom in, and it's more. Um, it's easier to do this because before um, to just zoom in um, a tiny bit more, but it's more like iOS now, so it's a lot more accurate. So um, as you can see, also uh, it isn't blurry anymore if you zoom in a lot. Um, but then you can zoom in as much now. So. Um, this is um, Safari is also full screen now. Uh, this feature has finally come, so you don't need to use um, custom things, custom plugins. I think to go full screen. So um, another feature also now is that in spa separate spaces there is a separate desktop picture. But um, to have the same desktop picture in all of them, um, at the moment um, there isn't a feature. To do that, so you need to disable spaces and then set to desktop picture and enable them again. Uh, so, um, also scrolling has been reversed. So, we just open up a finder window. Um, I'll go to something. Oh, I can scroll here. So, scrolling has been reversed. So, I'll just demonstrate this feature. So, you go to trackpad and click this checkbox. It's automatically checked by default. So, um, it's like a Touch um, screen, your um, trackpad, because to scroll down you need to scroll up. So this is um, quite a nice feature, but um, it can get annoying if um, you're switching between different operating systems, and it's really hard to get used to. So you can just uncheck this in trackpad and um, system preferences. Quite a lot of the new features can be um, disabled here. So um, also. Uh, you can use three fingers for mission control and you can also move things here. 
can move things to other spaces and um, all the windows in one application are all grouped together. So um, terminal is also full screen which is really useful for um, uh, people who are developers um, or who are just a bit bored and trying to um, enable um, features like hidden files and things like that. So um, you can exit this easily down here. So what ha actually happens when you go to um, full screen is and it goes to the next space to the right. So um, this might get buggy if you're on um, full screen in the uh, space to most to the right. Please exit this. Um, and not too many more features but moments, but it's, it's launch pad now. So uh, there's different pages like an iOS, so basically making um, Apple's making this like an iPad and with um, I think it's called Modbook from a touchscreen MacBook which has been modded this would be really um, nice and so you can create folders like an iOS so for example sorry about that so um, for example if you want to put something like preview and calculator together actually um, this is a bit glitchy because it respring's quite a lot, but as you can see this folders like in my iOS here. So I'll just put something like Photo Booth and FaceTime together. Um, and then we double click. Oh no. You create a new um, folder or rename, then it will respring. So even respring has been included to this. That, of course, has to be fixed really soon, I think. Uh, so, um, uh, iChat has been changed a bit, um, when you have more than two windows open, they're put together. Um, there isn't really much change other than that. Not all applications are full screen yet. Um, if you want to see if it's full screen enabled, you can click this here. And not all applications work at the moment. So, for example, if we go to applications and, uh, not sure if we'll be able to find this application here, yeah, iStat menus, for example. And this isn't just a normal application, um, it puts menus into here. So try enabling something here. Uh, then it'll automatically go to off, some things are broken, but it's going to be um, about six months um, for developers to fix some old applications. So there shouldn't really be a problem. Anyway, um, a big feature, or a bit, something that's been changed, which is quite important for developers, because, um, is that if you go to your user folder, you don't see a library here anymore. Um, app, all application support has been um, put into I think, Mac OS X, um, Macintosh HT, uh, the hard drive partition where Mac OS X line is installed. Go to library and all the application support is in here. So this can be a bit annoying because some like, applications are broken because of this. And especially if um, they use preferences, um, which is um, a bit buggy. So um, there is also um, App Store. Uh, I think it's a later version of App Store. And I'll just open it up. I haven't checked if there's anything different here, but uh, it looks similar. Um, but it's probably updated. I'm not sure, but this is version 1.1, 1 .1 and um, and Snow Leopard is version 1.0. So FaceTime also is included, so if you click FaceTime here, this is um, $1 here, but um, it's included with Mac OS X line at the moment, but maybe in the final release it may be included. Uh, so um, scrolling is a bit buggy in, app, in the App Store. Um, so I'll just try and switch to this. Okay, so... Um, might be better to keep this um, checks and use the reverse scrolling because some applications are buggy with it. I think um, address book has been changed, so it's um, looks more iOS like. And um, some other application icon I think is more simple now. And it's also um, something that's changed in the UI is 
further um, close button, minimize or maximize button has ch have changed. Um, and also loading bars and things have um, changed too. Uh, there is some um, also new um, Xcode 4.1, but this is included with the developer release at the moment. That's why it's only three gigabytes. Uh, so um, I think we've probably shown most of the main features. There's a lot of different new um, features, um, and also as you can see, let's see, there was a small graphics bug here. Um, so anyway, um, to get um, the developer preview, you need to be um, a paid Mac developer. Uh, I think it costs um, $99, and uh, it's only worth getting, I think, if you if you need to develop applications or um, upgrade the applications if they are broken. So anyway, thanks for watching this um, preview of um, Mac OS X Lion developer preview. Um, please rank, comment this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this.